After a month and some change on the road, the Raiders came back here and it was loud. They beat the Detroit Lions 31 to 24. And we have a new Mr. October here in the Bay Area, not baseball wise, but football wise. Ro rookie running back Josh Jacobs got the offensive player of the month for the first time in franchise history. He's joining Charles Woodson, at, who's another rookie, who got the honors on the defensive side. The only other rookie in club history to earn the honor on either side of the ball. Here's head coach John Gruden. We're building a team and uh, I like some of the blocks that we got in place. I'm gonna leave it at that. We got a heck of a challenge on a short week. We're missing a lot of key players. And I know the Warriors are missing key players and it ain't easy. The game went down to the wire, but the defense kept it together. Carl Joseph made a great defensive stand, and I had a chance to ask him after the game what it felt like coming back here and not playing on a baseball field. Uh, I felt great. My knees are uh, thankful for that, too. It's not scraped up like last time, so it feels good to be back on the grass and, and back in front of our home crowd. You know, Derek Carr is always a good sound bite he's always so warm and genuine and he always gives me a little extra special care I always get the real good quotes from DC and I asked him uh, how good it was to be back home and playing on well not on a baseball field here's what he had to say yes uh, we miss our baseball field <laughs> but every time I look down I remember it um, you know <laughs> It's, it's sad, it hurts my heart, but we won't see it again. Maybe, maybe I'm not being serious, but uh, to be home, to sleep in my bed was nice. Uh, you know, I came home on Friday and I was like, oh yeah, I get to stay. Like, I, get to, I get to hang out with my kids, you know. Uh, and they make me be a dinosaur or something. You know? I was like, this is better than a plane flight, that's for sure. Uh, and then there's football too, I guess, uh, which is nice. And we got to play in front of our fans. It was loud. Uh, especially towards the end zone, as always, which I miss, I love, I laugh about all the time. They probably think I'm mad at them all the time, I'm just trying to hear Coach Gruden call the play. <laughs> and uh, no, I, love, I love this place, it's special, it really is. So, to come home in front of them and get a win, especially the way we did it, right? You know, it'd be nice to win something 40 to nothing sometime, but when you win them like this, it just does so many good things for the team. So the Raiders do have a short week and they're pretty banged up, but they have the best in, in care and conditioning. So we shall see when they play their division rival this Thursday, the Chargers. It's going to be 5 o'clock here at the Oakland Coliseum. And as always, thank you for following me on these social media outlets. And before I go, I want to honor the late Willie Brown, who died a week and a half ago. I had the chance to know Mr. Brown over the last 10, 15 years. And uh, he was always a great Southern gentleman, always had a nice compliment, and always had a beautiful smile. You know, he was vicious on the field, and he is and will always be the original number 24. The team honored him briefly before the game and gave him a beautiful send-off at halftime. I hope you enjoy. Rest in peace, Mr. Brown. Louisiana charm and lethal on-field tenacity. His name was Willie Brown. Selected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility, Brown overcame the challenge of entering the league as an undrafted free agent to become one of the greatest and most influential players in the history of the game. Willie 